Hey all you star finders out there, I'm David, the Digital Dungeon Master, and in this particular video, we are going to be taking a look at the outlaw theme in the Starfinder core rulebook. Now the great thing about Starfinder, whenever you choose a theme, you can couple it with any race and class that you want to. There's no restrictions at all. So if you want to go crazy and go with one of the old Pathfinder legacy races and go Halfling, Mystic, and Outlaw, you can do it. So once you get done choosing your theme, your race, and your class, you want to come up with a good background story for your character. Now you are an outlaw. You are a wanted man or woman throughout the packed worlds for whatever sins, unlawful behavior, or laws that you have broken. So how did you become an outlaw and how long have you been on the run? Was it some type of traumatic experience that happened during your childhood that made you commit these crimes? Were you part of the military and did you go AWOL? Did you betray some type of secret organization? How much is your bounty worth? Were you captured previously and did you maybe escape from a prison? Were you wrongfully accused of the crime that you were supposed to commit? Were you even set up and do you want revenge and find out who set you up for the crime? Now do you have any negative quirks? Are you a huge gambler? Do you have some type of addiction? Maybe you owed some secret organization a bunch of money and then they set you up for a crime. The possibilities are endless with the outlaw so just make sure you have a good background story because when you do it's going to give your game master more fuel and more hook points for his or her campaign now every theme in Starfinder gets a plus one to an ability score pertaining to the theme now you're also going to get four extraordinary ability scores at level 1 6 12 and 18 at level one, you're going to get theme knowledge. This is where you, as an outlaw, are going to be the master and very knowledgeable about underworlds, back alleys, and black markets. You are going to get a permanent plus one to your dexterity ability score. Now just make sure during character creation, you don't go past an 18. Next, you are going to get sleight of hand as a class skill. Now, if you've already got a class that has sleight of hand as a class skill, then you can go ahead and add plus one to your permanent sleight of hand rolls. Lastly, you will be able to reduce the DC by five for any types of skill checks that relate to anything about any criminal underworld. Next, at level six, you are going to get legal corruption. This is where your underworld contacts have a lot of pull and a lot of stroke with the local organizations or maybe even the authorities to where in case you get in trouble with crime, they will be able to help you and get you out of trouble although they'll help you for the right price. So basically, depending on the severity of the type of crime that you've committed and been caught for, probably ranging from anything from theft to maybe murder, it's going to cost you 500 to 10,000 credits times your character level, depending on the severity of the crime. So basically, don't get caught. Next, at level 12, you are going to get black market connections. This is where your underground connections are going to be able to move any type of illegal goods that you want moved, and they'll move it very discreetly for you. First, you're going to be able to take any kind of illegal goods that you have and sell them to full price to your underground connections. That's even including high-end items that normally wouldn't be found in the area that you're pawning your goods. Lastly, if you need to have any underground goods that you've purchased from your underworld contacts delivered, they'll deliver it for you discreetly for an additional 10 percent above the retail value now just remember when you do this just take into consideration the amount of time it would normally take you to travel it's going to take the same amount of time for your goods to go from point a to point b now also take into consideration this could take a little bit longer because if they get caught you're going to lose your goods and lastly, at level 18, you are going to get Master Outlaw. This is where you get a shot of adrenaline every time that you complete a successful shady deal. Now, Master Outlaw can get a little confusing, and there are a couple of steps to it. 
twice a day, if you decide to plan some type of crime or a heist, you have to spend 10 minutes planning for this crime or heist. Then, when you are actually performing the crime or heist and you complete a successful action while the heist is going down, then you get a shot of adrenaline and you get a resolve point to add to your resolve pool. And like I said, you can do this two times a day. Now, take into consideration a 10-minute stamina rest does not count for this. So there we are, everybody. That is the outlaw theme from the Starfinder Core Rulebook. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do me a huge favor and thumbs up the video. And I want to know what you guys think of the outlaw theme down in the comments section below. Do you like it or do you not like it? So once again, everybody, my name is David, the Digital Dungeon Master, and you can check out all of my other Starfinder and Dungeons & Dragons 5e videos here on my YouTube channel. And until next time, happy gaming and stay safe.